Welcome back, Vikings, to yet another glorious episode of The Last Viking. Now we are exactly where we left off last time, where we almost managed to help our fellow Orepol, our fellow Norwegian, perform a siege on the Sami people. In today's episode, we're going to continue the conquest, taking land away from the Sami people. If you were here in the last one, you would have seen that I got my first ever town, Vogan, is now ours. And we are only down to minus 58 influencers. It's really good, which means that in today's episode, we're actually going to be able to start banding together a little bit of a war band again. And maybe performing some more sieges on our own. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to go down below, leave a like and a comment. Not only do you help, uh, you know, secure your place in Odin's soul, but you also appease the Algo gods. And trust me, we need them both on the battlefield today. Was that wind effects? Oh, it is. Wow, that's epic. That's really cool. Never even noticed that. Let's see, though. How many troops do we currently have? We have six away from our max capacity. We're going to do the available upgrades. Sami Veteran Archer. We want Sami uh, Archers because they're absolutely on another level. Let's just take a little gounder over here, though. These looters, do they want to fight? Or are they just going to be cowards and run away? Do the Sami have any more land? In they don't. Have oh, my days. It's barren. Finland is barren. It's not a single Sami village except for all the way up north. We're going to go to Kota. And we're going to raid it, and hopefully it will yield us some nice influence. Now, we ought to remember that our fleet is currently in the ferry point right down here. So, it remembered. Ferry point here. That is where our, our, our fleet is currently stationed, I believe. Now, let's see what happens. If we take coastal action, we're going to force them to give me... Good, why not? 67 are going to rise up against us. That's actually good, because that's going to yield us more influence. So, let's... Go in and murder some innocents. What a lovely day. All right, boys. For those who can hear me, this is but a walk in the park. Shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes to eradicate all of these pesky Sami people. Arrows, Archers, I want you guys up here too. Move. Everybody through the front Arrows. line. Cavalry though, you guys can relax back there. We uh, we don't have use for you right now. I want my footmen. Archer. Hold archers. Charge. Everyone, just charge in. Charge in with all haste. I want you to draw your blades. There's no reason to fire in this thick forest. Absolute waste of time. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to allow them to do so. Why not? Archers versus archers. Ah! Another one. Hey, watch out there, buddy. Don't want to do that to the king now, do ya? Well, not the king, I guess. Hey, guys. Bah! Should have liked the video, I guess. Here we go. The fighting has started. I want to see how the archers are doing. That's what I'm interested in. Oh, here they are. Oh, this actually looks kind of cool. Look at him. Ah, uh, just draw your blades. Just get it over with, yeah. Just get it over with. Couple of arrows to the neck has never hurt nobody. Get up, soldier! On your feet! Oh, come on, seriously? Why make it harder for yourself? I'll give you a swift death. Cause I'm a nice person. Well done, guys, well done. 14 influence. Very, very nice. We're going to take those prisoners. We can recruit three more. And now we're still four away from our max capacity. That's okay. Do some more Sami archers. Everyone else going to be infantry. We do need to get some more horses as well, I think. But that's a problem for another day. Look at that. Down to minus 41. Jovely. Now, the uh, normal thing would be to... Uh, finish off the siege here however why do that because that would just bring about peace sooner and i don't want peace no 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 i want to conquer territory and the only way i'm gonna do that is if i'm actually in positive influence and can raise an army i know kind of weird but let's see what do they really have here they have v which has one more village and then i guess 
we could cross here. The only issue is... Uh, if we go any further, we're going to have to take a ferry over to get our boat. So we are actually going to make our way back to the ferry point. We're going to sail up the river. Let's just have a gander. Oh, we're actually closing in on making peace with these fools. No, come on, Magnus. Don't do it. No peace. No peace for these fools. Just because they're losing the war, they want peace. And how are we doing against the Swedes? Kingdom of Sweden. Uh, they're paying us every single day. We've received 17,000. So I bet they're going to declare war soon. But I really need to uh, figure a solution to my problem of not being a king. Are we going to declare independence? 127,000 is not really enough to uh, declare independence, is it? I guess the thing we could do, but that would ruin our relations with nobles. Would be to declare war involuntarily on a bunch of different factions so that Norway would be preoccupied fighting other battles to leave us alone. But that would uh, ruin our reputation with lords, which would not be a good thing. Although currently, I think we're in good standing with just about everyone, or maybe we're not. Let's see, uh, Eric. Wow. So I have three friends, really? Seriously? Three friends? Let's see, a part of Kingdom of Norway. Kingdom of Norway, let's see. What kind of standing do we have here? So with Autopole, 62. Armenians, 28. Uh, Magnus, of course, standing 100, because he loves us. Saka. Relation 3? What? I guess 91. I guess we've helped out a lot of villagers, not a lot of lords. Hawkon 13. Okay, so quite normal then. The Yumsuaki mercenary fighting for the Norwegians. Very nice. All right, get back on our fleet. Sail up. And just raid them, plunder some innocent Sami villagers. Why not? Can't blame me for taking initiative. Set sail, yes, please. Now, one thing we do need to figure out, though, is there anywhere to actually dock our fleet here? There is a fair point up here. So we're going to go ahead with our 9.6 speed. I do wonder, though. Oh, we're closer to peace now. No! We do not want peace! We want war! War and turmoil, that's the ladder to success, I'm telling you. Look at all these bandits as well. Okay, let's see. Can we get even closer? Is there any more fairy points up here? What is this, this place? Is it just an unoccupied village? Shirkenes. Ah, uh, I guess this is the closest we can get. Uh, we're gonna forget it. We're gonna get off. And then we're just gonna hightail it up to the near Sami village. And continue our raid and plundering. So, this war that we uh, started, I mean, it did grant us our city. Which in itself is a glorious victory. And we're actually making money now, so that's also good. We still have two castles, but if we were to declare independence now, we would lose those two castles. That would probably be the first thing to happen. Let's see. We are going to take hostile action. Force them to give me goods. 82. I'm just going to send in the troops on this one. Only 8 casualties. 12 influence. Thank you. We can recruit 10 more, but we cannot have space for that many. So thank you. One thing that I do want to take a look at though. How much different food do we actually have? It's very important. We only have two different foods. All right, that might be one of the reasons our steward skill is taking a, a good while to actually level up. But at the moment, I don't really want to go with the shirkiness and try and, uh, and, try and do trade. I think they're not going to be too welcoming to outsiders. Isn't there more villagers here, villagers here though? Wow, this place goes far up, but it's just empty. Ah, uh, we have some close to Hammerfest. Oh, we're all the way up here. True. All right, let's make our way down here then. Diplomacy. Oh, even closer. No peace. No peace. We want war. 
we're gonna take close action force and give you goods they're gonna say no we're gonna say yes double yes and now we're only at minus 12. very nice we're gonna take the hog and the grain i'm gonna leave this place and double time oh i was gonna say it's just been besieged but it's not it's just been abandoned quite the opposite of besieging i would say now raiding these villagers i'm not sure if it has an opposite effect of what we want because i'm not sure since we're not completing the raid itself i'm not sure if it counts as a completed raid in terms of uh, winning or losing the war i guess it won't it won't matter for too long we want to make peace of course a uh, bunch of cowards y'all are and we're gonna be like oh you're gonna give us money for peace um yeah because we love money greedy norwegians also absolutely greedy all right we're gonna for also action for to give you goods yes and just as we are about to break into actual positive influence that's when they're gonna declare peace i don't know if i should take that as a sign that they don't like me that i should declare independence can i get one more though please one more raiding it's gonna be my last raid also action forcing to give you goods you know what i'm gonna go in and fight this myself i want to be on the battlefield for the last battle of this war Oh, it's one of these epic, epic villages. I love these. Uh, cavalry, you guys just stay there. I'm actually gonna make that into one. All right, boys. Who's ready for one last fight, eh? All right, Orsi. You've done me well. Archers! Ready your bows! Infantry! Infantry! Forward! Oh. March! Move! Forward! Hold fire! Wait for my command! Archers, hold fire! Hold, I say, hold! Infantry, make your shield wall! Keep your shields high! I'm too ready! At my signal! We get rid of these wretched swines! All right, get ready, archers. Archers, knock! Fire well! Let them have it! Throw everything you got at them! All right, boys! Let's have ourselves a little party! Yeah. What's that? Oh, that's right. That's me. What a glorious bet then. All right. 8.7 influence. That's going to be positive influence for us. Now we're going to take as many prisoners as possible. Obviously. Uh, we are actually going to recruit. So we fill up our quota. We're going to do our 39 upgrades. Let's see. Sami Axman. Why not? Why not? And just like that, six influence, and uh, I think that's gonna be. We'll take the grain. We're gonna leave, and we will probably. Oh, I don't have enough influence to do anything, but actually, quite a lot of people, including Odepol, voted against peace. I like Odepol now. Yes, yes, yes. Peace, peace, peace. I'm uh, surprised we didn't get the notification. I guess one thing we can do is go over to uh, Hamedifest now. Buy different kinds of food. We're going to sell off the loot that we're currently carrying. I'm also going to look for some war horses. Your spouse Tura is with child again. What the? Are you for real? That is insane. 
Dude, that is literally our fifth child together. Wait. I just realized that Autopol is my brother-in-law. Oh, that's Jovli. There's one thing I was going to check in here. What was it? don't remember. Oh, yes. In the upgrade. Oh, I can't check the upgrades now. But I do believe war horses are important. Let's see. Trade. How much of the money you got? 47,000. I only got 25,000 worth of loot. That's depressing. But we are going to stock up on meat. Cheese. Olives, butter, beer, and fruit. All right. Nice trade. I'm going to go to the town district. Choose prisoners to be ransomed. All right. One thing we can do with all of these extra warriors we got is um, find a lord that we want better relation with. And we give away a bunch of our troops. Because currently we're just now paying massive wages for absolutely nothing. There's no reason to do that. We're going to make our way over to the ferry point. Ooh, up here, isn't it? All right, where's the ferry point? There it is. That's where our fleet is. I was on my way down to the ferry point there. Uh, it's Skelle. Skelle for door. That is not where it is. Vorgan. Let's see. Loyalty is doing good. Security is doing good. Militia and garrison, stagnant. Food stocks is good. Wall level one, we need to do something about that. So, I think what we're going to do now is get rid of some of our current troops. And we're also going to go to the uh, the town of ours. And we're going to make sure that every single upgrade is done. Because I think currently, we don't have a single upgrade active due to the fact that we're having festival and games. Uh, set sail, yes please. Now, there's no way I can sail to my own place, right? <laughs> no. There's not a river crossing through Norway. What is that sound? What is going on? Look at all these looters. Guess we'll just sail our way around all of Norway then. Port of Vorgan, that is where we're going. Ah, oh, it's, it's faster to go around this way. Why didn't I think of that? What are these seed readers gonna do? They're gonna do something? They won't do nothing. Uh, as long as we don't go to the ferry point here and try and walk, I'll be satisfied. Alright, good. Yeah, this is a way better idea. Sometimes computers, smarter. But just sometimes. Port of Shirkiness. And there we're in the Atlantic Ocean. Now we're way up in the Arctic Circle. We have su That is such a long way to go. Good thing that we got 8.8 .8 speed though. Prisoners are slowing us down absolutely massively. Look at that. Minus 1.23. Who's our closest allied town? Quite far away. Uh, or a Paul. Let's see what he owns. Let's see, because I want to donate to him, don't I? Uh, Kingdom of Norway. I'm doing this the hard way. Uh, not him. Saka, not him. Skelgugson, not him. Paulson, not him. Wait, what? Or a Paul. Uh, let's see. Badigan. Oh, perfect. We'll sail to Badigan instead. We'll sail to Badigan. We'll drop off. We'll, rec we'll recruit the prisoners and then we'll give them away. Making us look good. And making our relation go up. I think that increases relation. I know it gives us influence. And I'm hoping it gives us relation as well. Do we have another... Yes, we do. We're going to put that right into... Uh, charm maxed out. Ah, we'll put it into medicine. Why not? 
Why not? Might as well, yeah? Quest? It gives an exclamation mark, but there's no active nor old quests. How does that make sense? Alright, we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Our little, um... Fairy trip around all of Norway. I guess at this point it would have been quicker to sail the other way, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my days. The Armenians and Reeves have ended their mercenary contract, alright. Nice, nice. Alright, 63. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Back into bed again. Donate troops to the garrison. Now, whether or not they can actually keep these troops, I'm not sure. Nor do I care. We're just going to do some upgrades so that we get more influence out of them. Let's see. Sami Nomads. I'll give away some of these. Now, the Sami Archers, I'm keeping those. Uh, you can take the Sami Axemen. Take my own Archers. It's going to give us... 16 influence, really? Okay. Now, I don't remember what our relations was, but it didn't yield us any plus in relation. Where is he? That's Holcomb. There he is. Handsome fella. Relation 62. Let's try it again. Let's do more. You want more troops? I'll give you more troops. I'll give you some of these. 62, and I give you more. Sixty-two. Alright. So at least we gained influence. We're up to sixty influence. That's good. Uh we're gonna go back into bed again though. We're gonna go ahead. I just want to see a leaderboard. Oh my days, I'm down to third place. We're gonna go to the port, we're gonna set sail, and we're gonna get back to our lovely humble abode. And make sure that things have been run as I intended them to be run. Now look at our speed, 9.2, that's a lot better. Do we still have prisoners though? Yes we do, 30. So we're still being slowed down, 0.6. That's okay. What do we not have but time, ladies and gentlemen? I do think one thing I want to do. Parties. Let's see. Uh, caravans are running smoothly. Uh, Garrison and Vorgan. We're actually going to go unlimited. These ones are restricted to 100. Because I don't care about them. Uh, Danto the Butcher. Current Vage. Not sure. Oh, I guess I'm uh, upgrading. Uh, leveling him up. I do want you to be at a max of 500, though, otherwise I'm gonna go broke. Sooner rather than later. Studios already at 2.5. Increased party size by plus 51. Do I need to add myself here? Wait. Uh, parties. Quartermaster. Is that percent, perhaps? Oh, she has better engineering than me. Yeah, it's just percent. All right. So uh, from the get-go, we are our own quartermaster. All right, Vorgan. Let's see. Uh, manage town. Here we are. Um, so these won't matter now that we're going to do some upgrades. We're going to upgrade everything. And more money. Now, I'm not sure what would actually... Let's see. The problem is, the culture of this city, does it change? 
culture sami people it does not so no matter if we put a companion there who has i'm not sure if it helps with loyalty that our companion has good governing skills if that makes sense uh oh, we'll ransom our prisoners why not recruit 10 pilgrims what No, you see my wife is pregnant, so I don't want her to do that. Can I have more companions though? We have seven out of seven. And they're all busy. Six of them are running caravans, making me money. And Danto the Butcher is currently running a party. You know what, Danto? Uh, what kind of skills do you have? Uh, let's see. Don't charm 31 leadership. So he has okay skills in this category. Not the best, but okay. All right, Danto. You're going to try and run this city for me, all right? I guess uh, some skills are better than none. Uh, to quickly disable this, we're going to call him in. And then we're just going to take over, over all the troops and throw them in the garrison. And then we'll get him to disband the party. Because if we're going to ask him to disband the party while he has 84 troops, he's going to use absolutely 10 years to do it. And we do not have time for that. Six days away? What? What? Where are you? Don't tell the butcher. You're not six days away. One day and seven hours. Okay, that's better. That is way better. At least we're making 3.8k now. Our caravans are making us 3.7 thousand every single day. Garrison expenses, 2,600. That's not too bad. Your relations increased by two. Is that since uh, loyalty minus? Oh, I don't like that. So, is there any way, I mean, potentially, if I manage town, so currently, we're doing, we're doing the aqueducts, right? Is any of these will give me more loyalty? Loyalty, fairgrounds are doing good. Let's see, fairgrounds. Fairgrounds already maxed out. Security. Is, is helping a bit We might have to like pause some of these upgrades so that we don't fall into rebellion Here comes down to the butcher though You know what I think we're gonna start ramping up now for declaring independence And it will just have to go Whatever way it goes. Uh, let's see. Donate troops. Oh, we can't take? Are you serious? I'm at your command. Let me inspect your troops. That's better. We'll take all of those. And then we're going to disband in the army. And then we're going to go to parties. And then we're going to tell him to disband in his party of himself. Once the party is disbanded, it merges into a near clan. All right, we're going to go to keep, manage the garrison. Actually, we're going to give a uh, giveaway, I say. We're just going to bring recruit with us. All right, we're going to have to wait for him now to do what he needs to do. There we go. I think he's done now, right? Uh, down to the butcher. The butcher is leading a party. How are you? 
I told you to disband it. How 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 how, how do you have 15 now? What? Is he trying to scam booze me? Now the only negative thing is if even our head of an income drops by a tiny margin, we start losing money. All right, so he's done with his thing. Nice. Don't the butcher. Uh, let's join my party. Uh, we're gonna manage the town. I'm not sure how much this is gonna change. Malaysian zero. So faster building production by 5.25%. Oh, but our wife though, faster building production by 28%. She's gonna be governor here for a bit. Loyalty drift. Owner's culture, governor's culture. So now we're losing quite a lot every day. But things are gonna get done even quicker. I swear. You can never make them happy now, can you? Prosperity. The city is prospering, but that's not good enough for a mom, is it? He wants Sami. There's not a single Sami wonder. What do you want me to do? By the gods. Sami people. There is a noble whom I've never seen before. And there is uh, <laughs> the ruler of the Sami people. Of course. Ex-spouse. Oh, she's single though. Okay, let's see. Manage town. Ah, oh, it's still taking absolutely forever. How can I increase the loyalty? What if I cancel everything except for that one? So marketplace gives me 5% taxes. I don't think there's really anything I can do. What is so annoying? If we had a companion that was Sami people, we would have gotten plus three every day, which would have uh, evened us out. But instead, we're gonna have to wait here. I guess I can uh, set sail and do other other stuff. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. I think I'm gonna draw, go over to bed again, see if anybody needs help with anything. Maybe one of the nobles running around needs a little bit of a helping hand. Loyalty is down to 50. So as soon as I leave, it's not as bad. I'm gonna go to bed again. Are we over capacity? No, we're not. Oh, we got so, so many. Oh, we got too few troops for our, our big fleet. That's it. That's why we're moving slowly. It literally says there, undermanned ships, minus 3.6. But I do want to fill up my ranks now with uh, just recruits. And we'll keep them around so that if war breaks out, we can just upgrade them. Because it will not cost us as much. I will just take all these guys. Let's see, there is a tournament going on. Might as well. Heavy Lamar vest for the victor. Listen. If there's a good price on the line, you you can you can bet your money I'll be there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's good being back fighting for a little bit, isn't it? Oh. All right. You son of a gun. Oh man, taste this axe. I. I didn't want to taste your axe. That's not nice. What the heck am I doing? What am I doing? Literally minus one HP. <laughs> oh, one HP, baby.
Oh, come on. Don't make me fight this shtick guy. Oh, I don't want to fight with a shtick. Give me the sword. Thank you. Nice. Very nice. 2v2 again. Another shtick man. Helvetosa. Come on, come face me like a man. I don't want to fight you, dude. No, I want that sword so I can slaughter you. Teammate is absolutely useless. Dude, stop it. There we go. Come on then. Yeah, that's right. We're in the finals. Give me a tomahawk now, please. <laughs> uh, you can't give me tomahawks. That's not fair game. All right, a little bit more chuck a change to our pockets. How much is it worth? I bet either six grand or 600. Yep, 660, very nice. An absolutely profitable day. Uh, now let's see, if we go to the keep, there's literally nobody here. So I guess we'll just do a, a bit of a scouring of the Norwegian uh, countryside. Should be fun. Hawkon needs no favors. All right, we're making oh 2.3 a day. That's nice. Let's see parties. How much are we currently paying for Vorgan? Current wage 2.4k. Now I think Vorgan, if when we declare independence, which uh, I see how the thing uh, things are turning out here, Vorgan is actually the best town to defend out of all of the towns there's only one entrance and that's over a ferry point but it also means that there's no escape no there is escape because i can just take my boats out the danishmen's and the norwegian oh what? i'm not sure what that said very close to war you're paying us twenty-three thousand already twenty-nine thousand. I'm gonna recruit all of these guys. Now let's take a little gander back to Vorgan. Uh, loyalty is down to minus 44%. Uh, I might have to uh, make my way back over there. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our fleet back to Vorgan and we're gonna leave our fleet there. Because I can just keep doing these rounds. Oh, there is a question mark here, though, or an exclamation mark. They both need help. I help with a problem. Uh, you and I do not have the best. Uh, okay, I don't care. I okay, I don't know what happened here, but okay. Is this where we ambushed some people? Fair, fine. Um, wait for the next warlord to ask if you need a favor. You just keep being picky. See how that turns out for you. Now, one thing we are going to do whenever we declare independence. I was going to say call in all my, uh, all my bestest of friends and try and convince them. I guess that's something we could do. As long as they're not too strong. Like some of these guys. Like Astrid. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Astrid. But unfortunately, she... Thira. Austri, very good friend. Where's Thira? Thira's party. Relation 91 with her as well. So that is a very favor, favored clan to ask for them to join us. 
because we might we might just be able to pers persuade them i also feel like norway at the moment is not as strong to where it's impossible for us to break away we just gotta make sure that we got all our affairs in order i guess one of the the main things that we should have completed before declaring independence is our our town our town should be at max upgrades on everything before we declare independence so that we have a well well working capital now we'll take a little gander back now and see how far they've come on the aqueducts i'm not sure how many days it takes but i guess if construction is good then you know obviously things increase and it did look like one of the upgrades helps the other upgrades not too sure though all right let's see finish town aqueducts are close to finished loyalty down to uh, 39 so what we're gonna do we're just gonna be waiting around there is a tournament here though join the tournament a legionary oh a legionary cape what Ooh, i want one of those not that I wanted, wanted, I just wanted, because, you know. You know, I'm the mayor of the city, right? Not really, I'm the owner of the city. Imagine being an owner of a city. Run while you can! Shut up. Yeah, run while you can, buddy boy. Four versus four. Man, stop the for hell with her. I want that shield, please. I want a stick too, please. Oh, come on. I was going to be running away like a little, little girl. Scared of the real man, huh? Oh, no. Oh, I forgot my... Put up my sword one-on-one, -on -one, though. That's going to be nice. Nice, quick, and easy. Yeah, buddy? You're bleeding. There you go. Give me tomahawks. Ah, splendid. That was close. Oh, nice. He did it. He actually survived. <laughs> oh, what a boss move. Now let's see what this legionary cape looks like. Is it actually a legionary cape? Uh, it might be. Still gonna sell it though. Aqueducts plus. 0.3% to prosperity construction cost 200 bricks. So if our construction is higher, our upgrades goes faster. So if workshops, if workshops are upgraded to the max, every other upgrade goes faster, question mark. It's taking me way too long to figure out these towns. I never really cared about the towns, honestly. And it's starting to show. Loyalty is down to 39%. Only only minus 0 0.5 a day, though. Relations increased by 2 to 8. Is this because I'm staying in the city? That might be why. Yeah, probably. That was her stew bones. 
gang leader. This is truly an. Is it by a velvet? No. Right, we waited two days now. I oh, still not done. Ah, seventy-seven percent completion. Six days. It literally says there, six days. All right. Yeah, the loyalty will hold out for six days. I'm sure of it. And then we just gotta make sure that once it's done, I mean, we don't need to stay at the city though. We can just do the do the upgrade and then have festival and games ready to go right after, so that whenever we see our loyalty start going plus a lot, then we know it's done. Yeah, festival and games are already ready. All right, six days. I ain't gonna wait around here for six days. I'll tell tell you that much. What I am gonna do. Go ahead and take the ferry. I am gonna pay ten dollars. Oh, that's a lot of money. At least now we don't have to worry about our fleet. Is there not a single horse village around here? Doesn't look like it. Absolute wasteland. I think I want war. That, that that hurts our relation. It's super annoying. Like, why are we not going to war? Why don't the Swedes want to fight us? Got a full war band again. Still making money every single day. Still has 0% have given us 32,000. The Sami people has given us a grand total of 32,000 as well. If anybody, I think the Sami people is going to definitely declare war first. They got the strength and they're paying the most. But like peacetime, not too much to do. I mean, we can fight some looters, have some fun with them. We're just too slow though. Night, forest, footmen on horses. I need more horses. That's what I need. This ain't working out. 2.7 in speed. You got 2.9. 3.9. Oh, come on. Come face me, you wretched swines. We're never gonna catch it. Oh, never mind. Are we? Oh, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I am giving up. We're going to Sunval and we're gonna buy some horses. That's what we're gonna do. Food has given birth to another baby. Oh, is it another daughter? That's what everybody wants to know. Literally one Fjord there for 1800. Oh. Was Noah the new one? Let's see, Noah. Lord, we have another son! Do I only have one son? Lady, lady, Lord. No, we have two now. Evad and Noah. What should we call our second son? So she's giving me... One, two, three girls and two boys. Very nice. She's currently governing at, uh, at, at Volga. I'm doing an absolute horrible job. A black heart. Ooh, what do we currently have? We currently have the avalanche. I think the avalanche is better than the black heart, but uh, you won't see me pass up uh, a tournament prize of such uh, repertoire. Yes, that is a word I just invented because I'm the Viking! <laughs> Hey, not nice. Sorry. Sorry, my lady. Who was that? That was the Bjergjot? Who is called Bjergjot? Who the heck names her child Bjergjot? Nice. Alright, only a red. 
Get him. Okay. That's it. That's it. Nice. It's just a red one left. Come here, buddy. Dying ain't dangerous. There you go. Good boy. Two on two situation. Are you gonna give me the spear? No, you're not. Nice. Don't to the bitch here. Hello, you bastard. That's not fair. I'm not even gonna move, buddy. Oh, I need to move to get these, though. Here's what it is. I would have hoped for more tomahawks, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, they never stood a chance. Renown gain 9.0, so 9 renown. How far up are we? Are we even close to getting to clan tier 4 now? Or oh, clan tier 5, sorry. Black Heart, uh, Heart has been won then. Let's see. Uh, it has better cut. It's longer. It has worse swing speed. And worse handling. It weighs more. And it's a lower tier. It's definitely worse. I'm gonna sell that. Thank you. Good business. Now, is there not a single horse village here? Seriously? There it is. Lin tripping. Alright. Let's take a little look at Vorgan as well. Uh, loyalty now 0.21. So I guess they're closing in on actually being able to... Uh... I mean, technically, I think Tura being there is actually working the opposite way. Let's see, thieves. Uh, loyalty. Governor's culture, yeah, minus one. So we're going to go no governor, although it is increasing the building speed. Uh, so now loyalty is actually increasing. <laughs> Look at that. All right. I'm going to call her back. Oh, 71 looters. What? You got a problem? Yeah, I got a problem with you. I ain't never seen a Luther band that big before. 71 of you lot. Archers! Move! Alright. Soldiers! Loose formation! We'll make it look like we're more than we are. Soldiers! They're ready! On my mark! Farewell! Oh, God damn it. I got one. Come on, boys. Get him. Hold! Hold! Take over, boys! Hey, they got zero. Nice. 
Very nice. Uh, we're not gonna... Oh, 114 upgrades. Okay, we're not gonna do those yet, because that means we have to pay my men more. We do not want to give them a promotion. Not yet. I'm sorry, boys. You're all gonna have to wait. All right. It's okay. We were on our way to Lin Shipping. That's where we're on our way to. Let's see. How's Vogan doing? Where is it? There it is. Uh, loyalty. Okay, so I guess the upgrade is done. So we could make our way back. I think workshops is going to be the next on the chopping block. Buy products. Yes, please. I'm going to buy these. You only had three, really. How's that even possible? A horse village with three horses? Can you even call yourself a horse village? More like a scam village. So what I would call that. Absolute scammers. Tura joined your party. Very nice. Well, let's hope she gets there pregnant soon. One troop has deserted. Oh no. We were over our capacity, weren't we? That's okay. They can have a better life somewhere else. Ask me if I care. I gotta sit to prepare. I have an imminent kingdom to declare. Get the body. Surely you guys have a, a big stock of horses, right? Uh, yes, you have some. These are just stupid ones. Fuel trot. I'm not gonna spend that much. I don't have that kind of money. Why are the prices also so astronomically bad? Make sure everything is marked. Get 2,000. And then we'll get olives, grapes, beer, brain, meat, cheese, and butter. We'll take it all. Ah, oh, come on. So we don't need 400 fish. So I guess all we can do now is make our way back to the city. Unless I can do it from here. Can I allocate any upgrades? Profit might... Very nice. Send your clan members to Vogan. Why would I send them there? Plus five relation chance with notables per day. Camera will be traveling and not be available. Okay. Not sure what that does. Ah, oh, the notables it increases the relation with these guys. Loyalty is increasing. All right, everything is looking green. Walls, we need fortifications up. That should be our next order of business. Fortifications should definitely be our next upgrade. And at least, although not quickly, we are making money, considering it's peacetime as well. And I guess I don't really need this big of a garrison right now i guess it's kind of too early we could try and make more money instead you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of my personal party almost completely don't need 180 men marching around let's see we're gonna buy horses and i'm gonna get rid of everyone who doesn't get on their horseback i'm pretty sure aura See so approach, request entry, continue, donate troops. I'm gonna do that. Ah, uh, let's get rid of some of these guys. 44. Yeah. Sounds about right. And now we have her penalty, but that's just barely, though. That is just barely. 0 0.06. 
So if I just get these guys back. Overburdened now. Oh, come on. Seriously? You're not going to make it easy for me, are you? We're barely overburdened as well. Here we go. Happy now? That's better. All right. We have a lot of things to do, but that is a lot of things that we're going to do in the next episode. If you did enjoy today's uh, absolutely um, somewhat of a uh, weird change of turns, at least things are going well, make sure to go down below, leave a like and a comment. Uh, not only do you earn your place in Odin's Soul, you also help out with the algorithm. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscription button as well. Very important. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, Vikings!